Hello, I'm Miss T and this is my t-shirt calculator. With this calculator you will be able to give your customers quotes within seconds. So we're going to go ahead and get started. When you purchase your calculator and you open it, you're going to need to go through a few steps to set your calculator up. And it will look something like this. You'll see a welcome screen. Here you will add, you will change this information and add your personal information. Danny's T-shirts. Change the address if you want it, your phone number, and etc. Let's go to next. In this area, you're going to set up your screen printing formulas. How much do you want to charge for your primary print location? We charge for screen printing by the number of inks. So here are your number of inks. If you charge a dollar for one color of ink or two bucks, I'm going to put two dollars here per swipe. And I'm going to put twenty-five dollars for the first screen. You can go in and you can edit all of this. This this area here would be for the secondary print location. You can skip this or you can go to next. Okay. This area is to set up your photos and digital printing costs. If you do heat transfers, photo t-shirts, vinyl printing or direct to garment, this is a good this is good for you because not only will you be able to quote your screen printing, but you'll also be able to do heat transfers or digital printing all in one. So you would just add the price for light garments and add your price the price you charge for dark garments. This is just for the printing cost only. If you did bulk discounts, discounts for bulk, you, you would enter the discounts percentage here. If you did, let's say we had a customer that wanted 24 shirts, the discount rate is 0 .90, which is actually 10%. So that's how you do your discounts. We're going to leave this alone and we're going to skip this and go on to the next thing. A lot of screen printers will screen print designs on the front of the t-shirt, but then we have customers that want names and numbers on the back. So that's what we created this area for. If you do names and numbers, then you could just add those here. And here you would add the cost per name, and we have $4 set in here. You could change that. Uh, the numbers are priced per digit, so we added uh, $2 in per digit you may charge a dollar per digit and per digit meaning if the number is 10 then the number 10 is two digits and if the number is five it's a one digit number we're going to skip this now we're going to come to our products the calculator comes preloaded with over 500 blank products and over 20 top brand names you can use the preloaded products change the markup price or even add your own products. Everyone does not normally keep all of the products because it's just so many to choose from. Um, what I would suggest you do is put maybe the maybe the top products that you use at the very top of your list but you can also look this up by product number instead of the product so you could leave every product in this um, calculator that's available and you could have all of them available to you but here's just a quick peek and actually what I'm going to do I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you the product list here, here we have you know the distributor style number brand and a style description of the of the garment, the wholesale price, the markup price, and your price. You would change this area here to change your markup, or you could put in your wholesale price if it's different from this. Just scroll down, and we're going to show you how.
how many products are loaded at this time. I'm not sure. We've just been adding and adding and adding. Um, so far we're up to over a thousand products and we're not going to keep going. We're just going to go ahead from this point. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead because I only have so much time to do this video. Oops. also be able to go in here and set up your taxes and artwork uh, delivery times th things such as that but we're just going to jump to the end and you're done so open up our calculator here we have the name of our business and our address and our information here the website if you had a logo the logo would go here we would have put that on the and the very front on the welcome page and it would show up here your calculator will open with today's date and this estimated completion date here is going to update depending uh, according to the date that you enter down here when you enter the days available for printing customers may want rush jobs so if it's a rush job it's going to tell you two days but we'll get to that in the at the end of this sometimes you may have customers that want to provide their own t-shirts so we did add that Let's say we're going to do 10 shirts uh, for a customer. As you see, the price here will not update because the customer is providing those shirts. We're going to go in and we're going to provide the shirts. So we have a customer that wants the Gildan Ultra Cotton T-shirt. This is one of our best-selling tees. You could also do a look up here by style number. Uh, let's see, they want red shirts, and we're just going to keep going in, adding until uh, we get to like 50 shirts. Well, we're actually going to do more than that, but I'll show you this. So the customer has added 50 shirts now. If we wanted to add 2X and 3X shirts, as everybody knows, 2X and 3X shirts cost more than small through extra large t-shirts. So, this calculator will automatically upcharge the customer. And you can see it here very lightly for 2X and 3X shirts. It's set now for $2 more per shirt. You can set it for whatever you want. If you go to 4X and 5X shirts, it's set to add $4 more per shirt. You could go in and um, add another product if you want it. And that's going to have the same type of printing done. And we just did this because sometimes people will order, order adult shirts and then order uh, youth shirts or they may order women's style shirts and then want men's shirts so that's why we added this in so now we have two products here's the price of, of product one total and here's the total cost for product two we could add in a third product if we want it but we're not going to this is the total product cost here and the total number of products. Now, the calculator is set to give you a discount based on quantity, and that's in the back end. You'll set that up. Um, this calculator is set up to give a 